Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. This photograph is from the recent Ideal National Championship Apprentice Division. My topic today is to discuss in which panel are the neutral and the ground to be bonded. First, I'd like to show you what the panels are. The panel on the far left is a Siemens load center with a factory installed 200 amp main breaker. It features 42 one inch spaces allowing a max of 60 circuits. It is a three phase four wire system rated 120 slash 240 volts or 120 slash 208 volts. It's a NEMA type 3R enclosure for outdoor use. This load center comes with a green bonding screw which is installed but is left in a loosened position from the factory. If the installer needs to make this load center the panel in which the neutral and the ground are bonded, this green bonding screw must be torqued down to 45 inch pounds. The torquing value for this bonding screw is found listed on the inside of the panel. The panel in the middle is a Siemens heavy duty safety switch. It's three pole, it will accept three fuses and it's in a type 3R enclosure, which means it's outdoor. It's rated 240 volts AC, and it is 200 amp. This safety switch comes from the factory with a separate bonding screw in a plastic bag. The installer can elect to install the bonding screw right here. And this is a 200 amp meter socket, and it's labeled OH slash UG, which means overhead or underground. Your service entrance cables can come from overhead or they can come from underground. There is no ground in this meter socket and it does not come with a bonding screw. So I think just by defining the panels, we can eliminate this as the possible box where the ground and the neutral are bonded. Here we are at NEC 2023 250.24B, Load side grounding connections. A grounded conductor shall not be connected to normally non-current carrying metal parts of equipment to equipment grounding conductor or conductors or be reconnected to ground on the load side of the service disconnecting means except as otherwise permitted in this article. Here in article 100 we have definitions and here's the word service. And it means the conductors and equipment connecting the serving utility to the wiring system of the premises served. And then we have service conductors, which are the conductors from the service point to the service disconnecting means. And then we have service conductors overhead and service conductors underground. Here's a drawing from the 2023 handbook that shows the service point, it shows underground service conductor, it shows service entrance conductors, and it shows a meter and service equipment. And our example has a meter socket very similar to that with no disconnecting means in the meter. In our example, you can see that the service entrance conduit right here will bring the service entrance conductors into the meter socket. There is no service disconnecting means in the meter socket. So the cables traveling to the safety disconnect are still service entrance conductors. Here in the safety switch, we do have a disconnect. So in this case, the safety switch is the service disconnecting means. Therefore, this is where the neutral and the ground must be bonded. And according to 250.24b, the neutral and the ground are not to be bonded further along the line, which we call the load side. So it is very important to not bond the neutral and the ground in the load center in this case. So you would torque down the bonding screw in the safety switch to the correct level. Then my recommendation for the bonding screw in the load center would be to remove that green bonding screw. This would keep any do-it-yourselfers or someone like that from accidentally tightening down the bonding screw. I hope this video has helped you to understand where the ground and neutral are to be bonded and what the 2023 NEC code has to say on the subject. Thanks and happy wiring.